Hello everyone, um, first off, let me just say that this is going to get a little tech-savvy, because, as you can see here, this is nothing but a bunch of random junk to most of you, and you got a bunch of numbers and letters here, you know, it, it's going to get a little tech-savvy. If you don't understand any of this, you should probably not watch, but I'm just making this video as, like, reference for the future, if anyone wants to, like, figure out how these level files work in Rayman Legends, then... Yeah, this is a level file, if I haven't already said. Um, it's a level file filled with geometry and um, texture mapping and such. Um, I just want to identify what each of these segments are, if I already know what they are. Um, so, first, this, I believe, is the reference to the texture that is used for um, the geometry, or for this brick. Um, this is the one of the bricks for Land of the Little Bit Dead. It's easy one and this is, of course, the texture for that brick. Um, starting to here, to about right here. Um, actually, no, it's right here. Yeah, I got that. Here. Here is what I believe is used use for the, uh, what is it called? The, I don't know what it's called. It's the Ubisoft level editor for Rayman Legends. Um, it's used for the preview, for the lines, when you're like editing the level geometry. That's what I think it's used for, because when I modify any of these values, it doesn't seem to change a thing in the actual game. So I'm going to assume it's for like the preview line that is used um, in the Ubisoft level editor, which I don't have access to, of course. But right below that, da -da -da, let's see, where does it start? Here. Here, I believe, is... Here, hold on, let me make this a little easier to read, changing that to 44. It'll be a little easier to look at. Um, here to about here. This is the level physics. Um, if you modify any of these values, it'll modify the physics of that part of geometry. It won't edit anything visually, but it does modify the physics. So, um, this happens to have about, I'd say, 13 vertices for this brick, right here, um, so, yeah, if you modify any of these, it'll modify that vertice and line that's drawn after that, um, I'll probably go over that a little later in depth, I'm not sure what any of this data here means, but right here, all of this junk right here is the UV mapping, um, basically, the, it's what maps the texture onto the level onto level um that's what it's used for this i'm not too sure um i, I messed with these values they haven't really changed anything um but yeah this is basically a, um all the level geometry used for the preview physics right here and then the uv mapping which is basically all I, we really need to know for um mapping, well, mapping, like, level modding or whatever, when it comes to modifying the geometry. Um, here's also another reference to the textures that is, uh, used for the level. No, I don't know what any of the values after that means. So I have to work on identifying what it all stands for. Um, here is, I believe, the camera that is used for that level. It's just so that like, if you can't necessarily walk backwards in Land of the Little Bit Dead, so it prevents you from walking backwards, I guess, or whatever. I don't know. I'm not sure what the camera file here does, but it does something specific to uh, the Land of the Little Bit Dead. Um, here's the Lums chain that is in the uh, level. That this not level, but the level file, the geometry. It's just a single brick, so this level file is kind of small. Um, so here's a reference to a lumps chain. And right after that is one floating point value for um, the x value of where it's located. And here is... No, that's not the y value. Here is the y value. <laughs> it's all the way back here. Floating point for the y value. And the data after that is basically how the lumps chain is drawn. Um, I'm not sure which which one of these values actually modifies it, 
but I've modified a few of them and I've noticed that some of it changes how the uh, pumps chain arcs. But yeah, this is basically run brick. Oh, well, let me actually pull up the image real quick. Here's the directory for it. Um, so pictures, and my legends, bricks, challenge run, run brick, easy. And here's here's uh, the run brick one. <coughs> That's the lump chain I was talking about right here. Um, but the level file we're looking at right here is just a level detail. Um, it does not include the background stuff or the foreground stuff or anything. It's just a level detail, the playground area, and anything that's in the playground area, that's what's in that file. Because it's right here, you can see it has level detail. I'm assuming that's what it sounds for, level detail. That's part of its file name. LD. But yeah. Um, let me go ahead and actually pull something up real quick. I'll have to edit this out, but yeah. Be right back. Okay, I am back. Um, this right here is the physics drawn out in Blender. I mapped out all the vertices and I mapped out all of the uh, variables after that to determine the angle of each line that is drawn right after as well as any other variable. Like There was also a variable for how long the line is and such like stuff like that and lines up perfectly. So I'm pretty sure all those values are um, identified perfectly. Nothing wrong with that. Let me actually go ahead and go over that. Uh, where I have it pulled up? Right here. Okay. Here is the. Here's a copy of the level um, physics. So here is an identifier for how many vertices there are. OD, I believe, stands for. Uh, let's see. I believe 13. If I'm not right. If I'm not wrong, it should be 13. Um, this is the x value of where it's the first vertice starts. It's in a floating point, 32 bit floating point, I think. <clears throat> of course, the y value is right after that. And this is basically right after any other, any uh, floating point. Not floating point, like it's, it just basically just happens to occur after every vertice identified, basically. <laughs> Like these, and these up here. In floating point, this is obviously one. Got a gap here. Here, I believe, yeah. Um, these two values here are basically the endpoints of, um, where the endpoint is for the vertice is when the line is drawn. It's relative to the starting point, though, not the origin. Relative to the starting point. But when I modify these, um. When I, when, I modify, when I modify these files in the game, um, it just seems to um, screw with the shadow that's drawn onto you and doesn't necessarily modify the physics. But yeah, that's, these are basically just where the endpoints are. Here determines what angle the player will be facing. Um, I'll go over what this means. All these values are in floating point values, by the way. But I'll go over what this means later. And this is what angle the drawing should be. The, what's drawn? This is what angle the line should be drawn. And this in floating point basically means one. So it's a vertical wall. It's a vertical wall. Um, and this is in floating point, the length of the line. So basically, what we're just what we're looking at here is the very first vertice and the very first line of the uh, geom geometry of the physics. Let me pull up the image again. So it's basically this wall right here. And extends down further. And here, this begins... Well, this basically ends at every um, vertice in line. It This should technically be right here, but I couldn't be arsed. And basically, this is the um, same thing as above, you know. <laughs> yeah, there's not much more to go over here. But yeah, that's all of this data right here, but in accessible form and a little bit more organized. Actually, oops, view, bytes, 
that well, heck, no that's not it four there you go that's a little bit more uh, structured it's all this data here um, this is what I was messing with for quite a while I was trying to identify what all these variables meant but I finally was able to understand what all of this meant all right here I have a floating point converter that I pulled up um, this is what I was using for all these values here. Um, it was kind of a pain in the ass to put into Blender, though. I had to put in every single one of these, um, every single one of these floating points, put it into here, and then put it into Blender. It was kind of a pain, but hopefully there will be like an easier way of doing it in the future. Future. Um, so let's go ahead and start off with the angle of the line that's drawn after these points right here. This is the angle. And obviously that's one. So this is basically the angle of what it's drawn. One, which is basically the inverse sin, not actually no, inverse cosine is inverse cosine. What am I doing? Inverse cosine. And that's the angle that it is drawn in, zero degrees. And basically when the lines are drawn, it starts off going up. So if I were to do it on a right degree angle, put this in. That's basically zero. And then I inverse sin. What? Inverse cosine. What am I doing? Inverse cosine. Inverse cosine. There you go. <laughs> I already forgot what I was going to use. But yeah, that's basically 90 degrees to the right. Um, for the vertice right after that, which is where is it? Here we are. Which is this line right here. That's 90 degrees basically. Just about, that's basically 90 degrees. Not exactly, but basically is. And yeah, and here is uh, pretty much the same thing. This Instead of it being one, it's zero. And that's because it's in, not, uh, I can't talk. <laughs> instead of it being the inverse cosine of the angle, it's the inverse sin. Um, yeah, inverse sin. Which is zero, of course. Of course, this is the length of the line, which is just about seven um, units, in-game units. Um, but yeah, um, there's not much room more to diagnose here. Well, I guess I could go over the UV mapping here. So. Here is all the data for the, um, let's see, where is that image? I keep losing it. This is the UV mapping for the playable parts of the, this part here. It's not, what we have here are two parts, two parts of the level um, UV mapping. We have the uh, ground here and the walls. That's what's being UV mapped in that section here, in this section, all the, from here all the way to the top here. That's what's being mapped. What's under that is what segments of the geometry, well, segments, it's basically what's determining what uh, region should draw. Whatever is this, what is this thing called? Like, it's like the fill texture for what's basically inside the, le the level itself. It's what's the texture that fills it in. So we got the ground and the walls, which is the stuff above that. And then we have the fill of where it's being mapped, which is basic. This is basically here. Um, here's the X and Y values here of each of these. I'm not sure what any of this stuff here means. I, yeah, but here, X and Y, X and Y, X and Y, X and Y. And yeah, um, that's basically what determines the fill here. It's basically the same thing as the level itself, like it, it's drawn the same way, just a little bit more inside so it doesn't, so the fill texture doesn't bleed out to the outside here. And here, um, let me actually show you a visual of the textures here. Open recents, Blender, should be this one here. Here we are. All this here is um, the ground and the walls being textured. Um, it looks a little confusing and it sort of is. In fact, this is should be a little bit lower here. I modified the level a little bit, raised that a little bit, which actually came out looking like this. 
like that when I modified it when I was experimenting. But yeah, um, this is the mapping for the walls. <coughs> Excuse me. And here is the uh, mapping. Not here. They see the outline of the level itself. That's the outline for the the fill texture. That's in the center of the level. The level um, file. So yeah. Um, I'm still trying to understand what this all means, what determines what will be drawn as a wall, and what will be determined as what will be drawn by as a floor. Does, is it determined by the engine, or do you have to specify it somewhere in the file? I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure if I were to make, if I were to like rotate this part right here, if I were to like rotate it like this and make it like this, will it render as a floor instead of it being a wall? I, I'm not sure. I'll just rotate this part right here. Yeah, but it might look a little screwed up in the engine though if I kept it like that. But yeah. Um. Anyways, that's basically the UV mapping. I'm not sure what any of these stuff after it read. It's probably what's determining what's being drawn. Maybe I'm not sure. Um, I would have to experiment with these later. I'm not really sure what any of this is. <laughs> Ugh. And again, this stuff, I'm not too sure what it, what it means. I've been experimenting with it. But yeah, um, that's basically all I can go over for now. That's all I know. I've only been experimenting... <coughs> excuse me. Um, I've only been experimenting with the uh, this specific level file. I'm not sure if any of the um, level files in any other... Like, it feels like in the main level. I don't know if this looks much different or acts any different, but that's basically all I know. This does nothing, it's like the preview line or something using the editor. This is the level physics UV mapping, and I'm not sure. And yeah, um, that's it. Uh, see you guys later. Hope this wasn't too technical or boring, but it probably was. I'm pretty sure um, most of you probably just left by now because of how um, technical this is. So yeah.